Hello, everyone, and welcome to AFK here on the Loading Ready Run Network. Oh. I'm just really excited. Kill Team Day is like my favorite part of the month. Ben, it is great to be back at the table finally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I am Ben, and joining me is the lovely Ian Horner. It's your boy, as always. As always. And as always, of course, we've got Paul on tech. Hello. Uh, and uh, we're here to play some Kill Team. Mm. Oh, man. It's not Chill Team. It's no. Kill Team. It's not Krill Team. <laughs> it's not Spill Krill Team. team. Why my yep, drinks yep, over there? Drinks are yeah, there. <laughs> I'm taking distance. <laughs> We're killing, uh, and uh, we've got a really honestly. This is going to be such an even matchup. I think so. I yeah. think so. This is going to be really, really sweet. Uh, we are playing uh, Grey Knights. Yes. Operated by Ian, and I will be playing uh, the Death Guard. <laughs> Uh, so two marine armies, yes. six models apiece. <laughs> we both got the same buff. I, it's, it's, it's true. We got, it's we got true. to add an extra basic warrior yep. to, or to our things. Which Boy, is... I'm glad I read that end of the paragraph. Yes. Oh, it was morning. super confusing. Though, as as all things with 40k, uh, it was very it's very confusingly written. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, it was it was a net. Positive. Yes. <laughs> but before we get into all of that, a reminder that this stream is brought to you by you over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. You're the reason we're able to do all this. Mm -hmm. So we super duper duper appreciate it. You keep the lights on, mm -hmm. you keep uh, us fed. Uh, you keep us coming back for more. Yeah, so thank you so much. And if you wanna come back for more <laughs> merchandise, <laughs> you can go over to store.loadingreadyrun.com uh, where we have all kinds of really, really cool things that you can mm -hmm. buy. Uh, Beach would love you forever if you bought our new shirt. Oh, absolutely! And it's a fun one too. I uh, what uh, what uh, oh. good enough to watch at one x speed. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, go give it a check out. Uh, and if you're watching this on the YouTube, what up YouTube? How you doing? Thank you so much. If you're checking this out and you're not subscribed to our tabletop channel, mm -hmm. please consider doing so. It helps out a bunch. Uh, if even if Kill Team is your only thing, we are doing this once a month, every single month, and with the future of pre-recorded Kill Team content mm. coming. I'm actually also very, very excited for next month. Ooh, what you got? Uh, James is playing. Holy moly. James is we playing Kill got Team. Him. Yeah, yeah. Well, all oh. it took was for our buddy Funko to paint him an army uh, yes. and custom make it to him, send it all the way to James, and uh, yeah, he's very, very interested. So The, the number one so, way to get James involved is to remove every barrier to entry yeah. that he as might long as yeah. he doesn't have to things. do any work yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly so yeah james is going to come play you're going to be teaching him and all that kind oh, of jazz it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of fun but we're talking about this right now yes. uh which is we are doing kill team into the dark mm -hmm. as you can see we've got our the reason uh, for the season <laughs> yeah the reason for the season we're going into the space hulk once more <laughs> Uh, in the, the spooky confines of the, the big Space Hulk, what Ooh. came out of the warp. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. We're continuing along with our matched play mission. So no, not narrative content, just uh, match 1v1 good old style stuff. And uh, we're going to be having a battle to the death. Or a battle to the victory. To the points. points. <laughs> to the points. If this is your first time uh, watching and you've, you don't know what Kill Team is, Kill um, Team... I think the way I, I, I love Cam's description, which if you're a magic person, you'll understand. If not, then I don't know. But it's the commander of 40K. It is a much more small team oriented, uh, focused. focused kind of uh, version of 40K. And the barrier to entry, so small. Mm -hmm. uh, like we said, each of us is actually just fielding six units. Would you like to play more than one game of 40K in a day? Yeah then Kill Team is for you. It's a great way of doing it. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're not going to do a full breakdown of how to play, but no. I think you'll probably pick up, and we'll be very, you know, uh, we'll explain what we're doing as we're going mm -hmm. along. Um, I think that is all the housekeeping, really, that yep. we have to do and all that kind of jazz. So welcome, everybody. Paul, do you want to throw on our spacey background <laughs> tunes so we can get in the mood? Yes, we are playing Kill Team here on the Space Hulk uh, representing the Grey Knights is Ian. Yes. Uh, and the Grey Knight. What, what can you tell me about the Grey Knights? <laughs> well, uh, the, the Grey Knights will be uh, played today by a group of... Uh, imagine if you will. <laughs> yes, look at them. It's Zakus. An elite team of Zakus who, uh, who, who've, who've heard word of a, uh, of a prototype Federation mobile suit on board <laughs> a space colony. However, 
due to some sort of cosmic mix-up. Instead of bo uh, boarding a space colony, they've boarded a space hulk. <laughs> and have run into a, 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 a sad Tau who is now looking to defect and make their way out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so pumped. So we've got we've got uh, five lovely Zakus and a Tau. Yes. Yeah, so... uh, all hanging out. So we got a Justicar, uh, the Grey Knights. Uh, his name is, is definitely not uh, Caswell Dyko, and it's Char. He's in the red. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, we got, and that's your leader? Yes, that is our leader. Yeah. Uh, we've got our, uh, our our gunner, who is the uh, traitorous Judok, uh, a, a Tau slash Federation officer. Uh, Slender is one of our warriors. They've got uh, a warding stave. Denim, another warrior. Jean, another warrior. And finally, JQ rounding it out with another warrior. I love all it. All in green. Yeah. So my favorite part about this was the moment you 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 came up to me mm -hmm. and you were like, "How <laughs> interested are we in absolutely 100% using the GW yeah. models?" And I was like, "Zero percent. None at all. If Great. you've got a dope uh, proxy and I can tell what it is, go for it, man." Games Workshop uh, out there. Uh, if you were sponsoring us, maybe we would. Maybe, maybe we would. Maybe yeah. we would care more about that. But uh, you're not, so yeah. we can do whatever we want. Yeah. And your move, Bandai Namco. Yeah, non-spawn. But those these look so so good. Yeah. Oh, so thank you. you got uh yeah, you got four four warrior friends and a leader and a gunner. Yep. And that's kind of your crew. Uh nice nice and simple. And I mean what I really enjoy about the kind of the distinctions of our teams are these are these are both compendium teams. So yes. these are teams that if you ha if you play 40k and you have these models, um you can just bring them right in. That, yeah. that's the, the the idea behind compendium teams. What I like about these is these are marines with a twist. Mm -hmm. Um, what's funny is actual basic Marines, intercessors, have more cool rules than, yes. than our armies do. <laughs> but but what's really neat, so the the Space Wolves, what I love about them is... The, so The Grey Knights? The, sorry, yes, the yes. Knights. God, yes. The Grey Knights is they trade off... Um, they don't have like a ton of variety mm -hmm. with their models and the options that you can pick, but you have access to psychic abilities, yes. which is so cool. Three action points per activation, and you can use the psychic ability on each of these <laughs> yep. guys every time. I mean, I believe they've heard be called new types in this environment. Right, <laughs> yes, yes, new types, yes, remember. <laughs> Which is super duper cool. Yeah. And then with mine, the Death Guard, uh, we trade, the, the trade off is, is these guys are just so hard to kill. Oh, infectious and, and regenerating. Mm, yes. And just... Yeah, so the, the key thing with all Nurgle units is whenever I would take a wound, I roll a dice. Uh, and on a five up, it doesn't happen. And that's for each individual wound. So if yeah. I take a hit, which deals five damage, I roll five dice and subtract the ones away. Boy, does that feel good to roll a grip like that. The yes. Life. Oh God, it's my, fi it's kind of the reason why I play mostly Nurgle based armies mm -hmm. is doing like 30 dice <laughs> disgustingly <laughs> resilient rolls, yeah. rules. It's I, super duper cool. I, I was saying to Ben, uh, my main criticism of the Death Guard yeah. is their, uh, their logo. Yes, uh, that is their official. Uh, like that is, they, yeah. They're, they're like, okay, people know that we work for Nurgle, but they won't know that we like death. So we'll put skulls. Yes, in you have to yeah. know. How will they know that I like killing if there's not skulls on yeah, our logo? Because normally <laughs> soldiers that are fighting for Nurgle aren't about death. No. Oh. So you know we want to make sure that people know what we're all about. So we'll put some extra skulls in there just to be clear. Yeah. Uh, any other notes that you want to make about your team here? Nothing big. Yeah, you mentioned the psychic effect, which is the big bit. Uh, there's some, uh, we've got some equipment on them. Uh, Santic Blessing on a few, which gives me the, uh, the uh, psychic action for free. Okay. Of those guys. Uh, one of them's got the true silver armor, which takes his save from three down to two plus. Is that on your gunner? That is on my gunner, So yes. your guy gets three dice and had two ups, he saves? Yes. That is... Gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> your, your five up save. I thought I so was disgustingly yeah, yeah. resilient. That guy's going to be a pain in the ass to take out. And Lieutenant Slender gets himself Cybolt ammunition, so that adds one to his damage. Just a flat into the normal damage. Yeah, on, on the Stormbolt. Sheesh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's fun. Uh, as a side note, uh, remember this is taking place on a Space Hulk. Yes. Uh, a giant ship that is, uh, you know, appeared in the warp and mm -hmm. is like a big um uh, a big sort of wreck of a ship which is why uh whatever the table uh yeah and, and occasionally you might see it uh uh yeah that that's just um because it's uh you know the 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 verisimilitude of it's you know it's my like one groaning. complaint about yeah. this terrain 
is it don't fit together super nicely. Mm -hmm. We had to do a little bit of filing on our last one to really mm -hmm. actually make them go together, and it's still not perfect. So you can see we kind of got like a little lip coming uh, <laughs> over the top of, of there. But it's fine. It looks fine on camera, <laughs> whatever. Um, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I, what you got? Yeah. I'm playing a new army. I'm on an ever, ever pursuing quest uh, to not play the same army multiple times, apparently. It's like it's like playing Commander for it's me. It's a hell of a good Let's... way to get good at painting. Yes, yeah, well, I yeah. Mean, when you only have to paint up six guys, as opposed to like, you know, 35 models or, or you know, a whole yeah. ton of dudes for a whole army, mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Um, so I'm playing the Death Guard. Uh, gotta stay in with Nurgle, of course. I love, he's my favorite mm -hmm. of the Chaos Gods. Um, and uh, this is an army that I had, uh, I, I just kind of had sitting in the back burner and was like, you know what, let me, let me give it a go. So I painted these guys up this morning. Um, wow. uh, they, were, they were based a little bit, they, they had a little bit going on, but I finished them up this morning, which was nice and fun. And the concept behind them was they are just so radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are swimming in the toxic, you know, in Fallout, when you go into like the, the big C and it's a bajillion rads. That's that is what uh, is going on here. So they're hyper hyper neon. I wanted to try and do something different um, oh, and do really fun. I should have brought colors. in my UV uh, my UV flashlight. Oh, just to see. Actually glowing. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the Geiger counter max lining exactly. <laughs> so I'm playing uh, the the Death Guard, and they are very similar in in the way to uh, most uh, Marine armies. Uh, I have a big leader here, which is this Plague Champion. Uh, sporting just your good old fashioned bolt gun and a power claw, or ah. power glove, I guess, um, which is a very nice and spooky weapon. Um, behind him is an icon bearer. You can kind of see him hanging out in the back. Uh, he is your average, uh, he's an average like a uh, unit, um, an average uh, warrior, which is my base ones, which I have two of, um, except he's also carrying an icon, okay. uh, which is an activated ability that uh, when I activate it, uh, any units that from uh, basically for the rest of the turning point that are within a square, so three inches, uh, on my disgustingly resilient rolls, mm -hmm. I get to reroll ones and twos. So what you're saying is that I have to double click the icon in order to double tap the icon in order to execute he's, the application. He's a spooky kabuki <laughs> guy. Got he's it. really <laughs> helping out my team for sure. <laughs> um, and then right up front in the center there, that is my gunner. Uh, the nice thing about Death Guard is they get a lot of options when it comes to guns. So he's got a plasma gun, which I mean, is. Just about the grossest weapon, I think, in a kill team. Yeah. Plas plasma guns are gnarly. Uh, and then behind him uh, is actually my own proxy model. Um, so this is normally a uh, one of the Lords of Contagion, which are special units in 40k. Okay. Um, but I thought he would actually make a really good stand-in for a Plague Marine fighter. Yeah. Um, so Plague Marine fighter, he has a great bubonic cleaver, um, which as is evidence, do yeah, as evidenced by big axe. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, hit, it hits really hard, um, and he's only got a pistol, because he can't carry a two-handed gun. But he's there for chopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and that's the squad. I mean, so our, our, our bolters are the same. Yep. They just have different names. Yours are storm bolters, mine are bolt guns. guns yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all my guys are equipped with knives, mm -hmm. um, which are, they're, they're all right uh, weapons. Um, the, the standard knife on a warrior, it's uh, three attacks, three up, three five. Okay. So decent. Okay. I guess I'll be I doing get, a lot of shooting. I, yeah, I'm going to be shooting mainly as well. I guess I've got a bit a bit more going on in terms of the hand weapons here. Mm -hmm. Most of them are five up, dice, three plus to hit, and then the you know, four or five damage each. Yeah, yeah. Most of them have stun, though. Like melee stun? Yes. Isn't that the one that like just knocks my dice out or kind something of, like yeah, that? Kind of, yeah. The, the, first, uh, the first crit removes one of your hits, and cool. then the second one removes one of your APL. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I'm not charging into combat, I feel. Um, yeah, that's the, the basic thing. Um, I've got a couple of equipment kind of things. Uh, everybody except for my gunner and my fighter have virulent rounds, mm. which is just it adds one damage to the crit okay. characteristic. Um, my fighter is carrying a plague bell, mm -hmm. which is for an action point, I can dong the bong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can dingle the bingle, mm -hmm. as it were. Uh, and anybody, does, they don't have to be visible, but anybody who, all my units that are within a pentagon mm -hmm. of uh, space uh, can add one to their movement characteristic. That's a lot. It is, but here's the trade-off, because I've been talking nonstop about disgustingly resilient. Yeah. I can avoid wounds. 
My guys only have two circles of movement. Oh. My boys is slow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Three, three circles is kind of the standard. I can only go two, so I can only move four inches mm. a turn. But if I dong the bong, I get regular movement. That's going to be interesting, because we uh, we, we, we've got a very interesting play space to be in, too. Yes, yeah. Um, and last thing, I guess, that I should okay. mention, uh, I have one of, all right, right, my gunner has a crack grenade. Oh, okay. Yeah. The old, good old crack grenade. I should point out, for those not aware, uh, but the, the difference between our bolters. Okay. My bolter is the storm bolter, and what that means is they each have relentless, which means anything that's not a hit, I can re-roll. Oh, that's way better than my guns. <laughs> <laughs> is it anything, or is it one one per time, or is it as can, many? Uh, relentless can re-roll any or all attack dice. Yeah. Holy doodle. Yeah, it's not bad. So, but there's still four four attacks, three ups, three four. Yeah, uh, four attacks, two ups on some of them, three ups on most of them. Okay. Yeah, and then three four. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Gray knights. Yeah, gray knights do not bust around. You are correct. Storm bolters are gross. Okay. Okay. That's all right. I'm disgustingly resilient to here. <laughs> uh, great. So that is the team introduction. Let's talk about the map as you were going on. Uh, mm -hmm. So we are playing mission one dash two of the uh, Into the Dark. Uh, stuff and this is called I think it's called automatic airlock. <laughs> so in the you might notice in the center is where most of the terrain is. All of this, that's the airlock, and it's sealed shut behind uh, a third of our team. So in this case, two, <laughs> up to two. So you can put up to two dudes in your uh, in the uh, deployment zone, which is this first kind of square um, on either side. That's it. The doors that are on either side are locked shut. Yeah. So in our case, because I assume we're going to go 2-2, two, two, but maybe not, those four guys are the only ones who can do stuff in here. Yes. The rest of the units get to go on the outsides. Um, and those have no restrictions. If you want to throw all four of your other guys on one side, you're welcome to, but you cannot swap sides. Yep, Wherever no you way. put them, that's where they're gonna go. There's no way through. There's so, no way through. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're playing League of Legends here with <laughs> with, with three lanes. Three yeah. lanes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or two lanes and a jungle. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, how you score victory points? Because you might not you might notice there's no objective markers on this one. Um, there are two tanks of oxygen and two pipes of oxygen. Uh, so you can t uh, use one action point to siphon oxygen from these tanks because there is low oxygen in this area. Yes. The center ones, if you control it and you and you uh, spend one action point to do it, you get one victory point. The ones on the outside, these two pipes, award two victory points. Um, so the ones on the outside, worth a lot more than the ones on the inside. Um, you can do that once per turning point if it hasn't been siphoned, so mm -hmm. you can keep, that's kind of, that's the main thing. We're gonna be fighting over the central area of the map pretty much. Each, uh, each action point can only be used once per turning point. Yes, yes. yeah, absolutely. Um, and then other than that, that's, that's it. It's four, four turning points as usual. This is this, I feel like this one's going to be a very scrappy in the center kind of one. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of cover on the sides. I'm really concerned. Like this is essentially going to be three separate battles. Yes. Because there's no way we, either of us are going to leave either side unattended. That's either. the thing, right? It's like, I was thinking about this as we were looking at the mission. I was like, maybe I'll just throw all my guys on one side and just fully lock it down. But then that gives the other person two free victory points yeah, every, every turn. turn, which is a lot. Mm. Um, and if it's matched that way too, I mean, it's, it becomes you know useless actions on both sides. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So and that's the way that's gonna go. So that's the mission. We've talked about our dudes, we've done the objective markers. Now we get to select our drop zone. So the yes. drop zones are on either side. We're gonna do a roll off <laughs> to see whom. So, I mean, speaking of, this is gonna actually like, who deploys first is going to make a big difference. Yes. Here. Yeah. Yeah. This one. This one really does matter. Uh, all right. Two. Six. Uh, oh, would boy. you like to deploy first? I yes. I think I would like to deploy first. Oh, you're going first. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. So you're you are the. Uh, okay. So if you're if you're deploying first, that makes you the defender. Yes. No. Okay. So. Pick your deployment zone, where you want to go. Okay, so uh, the options are, I believe, the edges. So it's it's actually the the far sides, unfortunately. These four, oh, it's a far corners. Yeah, yeah, so basically this entire backspace, like the squares backwards, mm -hmm. and this one that way. Okay, this one that way and this one that way. Yep. Got it. Okay, that makes, ah, that makes sense now with the two sides, okay. 
Uh, let's see here then. How yeah. many points are the armies in little scrims? So there's actually no point system in, in Kill Team. How it works is each team has a loadout of units that they're allowed to use, and you get to pick from those based on what is allowed in a, they're in a fire team. Uh, so it, it's different depending on what faction you're in. Um, yeah, you could, it gives you a lot of different options. I believe we need to set up the barricades first before we put the people in. Uh, nope, drop zone. Uh, well, sorry. I guess, right, you, you're going to select your drop zone. So yeah, okay, which yeah. side would you like to be I'll on? take this side. You'll take that side? Yes. All right, I will take this side then. Um, you're right, you're absolutely correct. So now we're going to select our attack ops, which we've done. Yep. We've both grabbed our three alternate ways of getting victory points um, by, by drafting them from our attack op decks. We did that in advance. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already selected our equipment. So yes, you're right. Let's set up some barricades. Yes. Um, so we alternate setting it up if you'd like to pl place your first one. Yep. So we get to place two right now. Um, and because we're playing with the uh, close quarters rules, it's a little bit different than before. Um, you can place them anywhere on the map that you'd like, mm. as long as it's a pentagon away from my drop zone mm -hmm. and not like right up in a hatchway. Yeah, so it's got to be <laughs> at least this far away. Yeah, exactly. And other than that, it's good. You're, it's free, open, open game. Yeah. E. Yeah, that's the thing. There's like there's horde armies. Um, I think like. Uh, if you went full chaos demons, I think you get like, what is it, tw 14 models? Woo! Um, and then there's little, like when my first one was Custodes, which is four models. Yeah, I think they're... Yeah, definitely, definitely all different depending on. Let's go. You know what? Yeah, that seems to be... idea. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna You're going to do like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we're supposed to go like one, 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 but it's whatever. Yeah. Literally doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to put one right here. Um... And I think one right there. Okay. <laughs> cool. We found our sides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we pretty much did a very similar thing. Okay. So uh, now it's set up, setting up the operative. So mm -hmm. you get to go first. Set up all the guys. Placing your dudes, yeah. giving them their orders. Yes. Oh, okay. Right, 12 to 14, depending on if you take blue horrors. God, blue horrors. That's the tough. horrors in general are cool. So we're going to take our knight, our gunner. Mm -hmm. We're going to send him inside. All right, the gunner's in the airlock. And we're going to be, let's just be aggressive. Be -e aggressive. Okay. Ooh. Engage order. Yep. All right. Um, and I think we'll send inside with them. Yeah. Slender, get in there. Okay. So that's the guy. Is that just a regular shooter? No, man? that's the one with the cybolt. Okay. Ammo munition. Right. The extra, the one extra damage point yep. on their gun. Okie dokie. Okay. And next up, we're going to go with, uh, let's split them up on both sides. We're going to go with uh, the guy with no gun, who has a Sanctic Blessing. Mm -hmm. And let's make sure we're within range. And Sanctic Blessing is that you get to, it's a one time, you don't have to spend an action to get exactly. Sanctic Power? Yes. Okay. Once per, uh, per turning point. Uh, and we'll send... <laughs> Erica, you know me well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely doing that. Uh, we'll send Jean with you. Jean has no special... Nothing special going on. Extremely... Aggressioned. And same thing over here. Yes. Okay. And again, also aggressive. 
Okay, everybody's got engage orders on your side? Yes, indeed. Neat! I hope that's not a bad idea. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out! <laughs> okay, all right, Space all right. Space Marines do not conceal. They, they attack. They conceal, don't feel. Okay, uh, my turn then, eh? So yes. I'm going to put my fighter in the airlock. Be right up as far as I can go. You're gonna go right there. Um, the only thing Space Marines conceal <laughs> is their feelings. <laughs> uh, and hold on, I may have sank the blessing wrong. Once per battle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. I'm gonna put my icon in there with him. Might be a bad idea. I don't know. Uh, and then we'll go my champion uh, here. Okay. And he can have a warrior with him. And you know what? We'll do exactly the same two and two hey. the whole way through. Um, and I guess orders are probably important. Probably. Um, you know what, Ian? Hey, what's the chance that we do the first double kill team uh, stream? Oh, man. Where we get to play two <laughs> games. <laughs> gas, gas, let's, gas, I say. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's not get overly optimistic, right? <laughs> that's true. Let's that's see true. how it goes. Let's uh, see how it I, goes. Am, I am going to actually give my two dudes in the center uh, uh, conceal orders. Um, I'm actually gonna swap like so. Um, they can have conceals as well. Cool. Yep, I like that. Okay. Works for me, man. Okay. Um, great. We ready to choose some scouting? I think we are. Okay. So, uh, just, I gotta always remind myself exactly what the numbers are. So one is... Additional barricade. One's additional barricade. Two, Two is... Change in order. Change in order. Three is free dash. Free dash. Okay. I don't even know what I want. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay, you oh. got it? <laughs> okay. I'm doing mine based on number of dice I'm holding rather than... Uh, oh, number of dice? Sure. Yeah, I, th I think that's a little easier yep, to Yep, that to makes conceal. sense. Right. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're fortifying. Yes. And I am uh, changing an order. Changing an order. Um, so where would you like to fortify that? Last uh, one? I'm going to fortify. I think that uh, my boys here need some cover. Okay. Just in case you uh, just come black, come out blasting. Just in case you pop around the corner. Yeah, you know that's <laughs> fair. Uh, I just also wanted to make sure. Oh yeah, within. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Okay, um, yeah, that sounds good to me. So, because you chose Fortify, mm -hmm. uh, you have the initiative yep. on this. So, without further ado, it's time to begin uh, turning oh, point one. Boy. Whoop, whoop. Okay, uh, so we're going to net our command points. Yep. Uh, so, we each started with two because we have leaders and we net one at the start of each turning point. Um, was there anything that you, I guess, the target reveal. God, I, sh I have sh do you have the um, the step order list? I normally have it yep. beside yeah, me. Yeah, so uh, initiative phase, ready up operatives. Yep. Then we roll for initiative, but we've got that taken yep. care of. Yep. So next we gain the command point. Mm -hmm. We play our strategic boys. Okay. And then we do the target reveal. Okay, is there any, right, I'm gonna grab my camera back. Yeah. I mean, if I make a camera, <laughs> I mean my phone. I'm gonna turn to the page in the compendium here. I don't think I wanna do anything right now. 
Okay. That's fine. I'm going to uh, give my guys a strategic ploy of Bolter Discipline. Okay, what's that? Until the end of the turning point. Each time a friendly Grey Knight operative is activated, uh, if it does not perform a fight action during this activation, it can perform two shoot actions during right. the activation. You've got double shoot this yeah. round. Uh, I think pretty much every Marine chapter has a si has a similar thing. It's just named differently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian's got double shoot this round. I'm uh -huh. not going to use anything here. Okay. Um, so uh, we are good to go. Okay. Then let's rock and roll. All right, into the action phase. Ian, you've got the first activation. The question is really unless are... you've got one. Most of the turn, most of the tack ops you can't do uh, in the first one. Mm -hmm. But uh, I do have some that. Uh, okay. Yeah. If able. you want to. It's the target reveal step. Sorry. What were you gonna say, Paul? I was gonna say uh, the question is: Are there are gray knights uh, considered to be friendly? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> we're gonna. Oh, it says all that. friendly gray knights get an advantage, <laughs> but. Uh, are the Grey Knights friendly? We don't know. I mean, <laughs> not today. We've been up too late. Yeah. Okay, let's just uh, get it get it on. All Before right, we... get it on. All right. Uh, we're going to go through. We're not going to go through. Yeah, that's one, two, two three. That's not a lot. So we're just going to move this guy up here. Okay. And then we'll make a sh shooting attack. Well, we've got your fancy thing. So yep. uh, I spent a lot of time studying line of sight. I'm glad you did. Because it is, <laughs> as we say every time, the most frustrating part of this. Oh, yeah. So let's go through the steps. Number one, is it visible? Can, from your head of your model, draw a straight line to any point of my model? The answer to that is yes. You sure can. Yep. OK. Now. Are they obscured? Which yeah, that's mean, the hard question. Yes. So they are obscured if they are being blocked by a heavy piece of terrain that mm -hmm. provides obscuring, which in this case is could wall. potentially be that wall. Wall. Now, uh, how you deal with that is: is it a circle, at least a circle away from that uh, obscuring thing? Mm -hmm. From any part of the, the uh, from any part of the attacker's base to every part of the defender's base. Yeah. So that's the good question. In this case, I believe. I have uh, I have a cover line of obscuring because I'm more than a circle away from this wall. I think you, I don't know. I think you might just be obscured by that wall. It's just dancing. I promise I wouldn't have just thrown him out into the yeah <laughs> into I know the field. And that's why I I, I could have nudged this guy over a bit too. But let's see from there. Let's say for the purposes that that is just obscured then. Okay, sure. So in this case, you wouldn't have a shot. Yeah. It stops right there because I'm in concealer. Yeah. Um, but that's all right. Okay, uh, so yeah. you've done one move. I've done one move. But Oops. we, since we're playing the close quarters thing, you do have other, you have a bunch of options because yeah. there is the new guard action. There is Which is guard. basically, if you've played XCOM, it's you forced Overwatch. You get to, Overwatch is always a thing in this, but it lets you get a, it lets you do an overwatch shot at a model that's activating in your uh, field, my of field of vision. Well, you so, know what? We're going to do that. Uh, that sounds <laughs> correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's overwatch two now, <laughs> but this much, but much more well-developed. <laughs> mm. Oh, and a second here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so that's that guy. He's on Overwatch. Okay. Whew. So that's two, and each of our dudes has three action points. I've heard Midnight Suns is actually quite solid. It, when it works. <laughs> I've heard it's got some real, uh, real crashing issues. Two, three, and we're going to make that a dash, so that's going to get a squared movement. Hmm? So he's going to dash oh, up here. Oh, so hold on. So, uh, wait, are, you guys aren't GA2, right? GA2. Uh, so we go back and forth oh, when it comes to models. Oh, never mind. Yep. Yeah. So if you're just doing the 
move and then guard. You still have a third point? Are you using it on anything else? Uh, no, no, no. No? Okay. Yeah. Then then you flip over that guy's dealy bot. And he's done. And that's my turn. So that's all, that's that's the big cha- a big difference between uh, kill team and 40k. Is 40k, one person goes and they do all Everyone their dudes. <laughs> and kill team, you get to go back and forth. Yeah. The death guard. Hey, you guys have to take turns. Yeah, wait a <laughs> sec. <laughs> Time out. Nobody told us. Yeah. Uh, all right. I am going to start actually off with my uh, fighter. Um, and he is this gentleman right here. He is going to start off by donging, dingling the, the bingle. bingle. Yep. So dingling the bingle. Anybody that starts within a pentagon of... Is it where he ends up? I should have actually double checked that. Maybe That's I don't a good want point. to do it. <laughs> yeah, take your time. Um, it's my first time. At, until the end of the turning point, each time a friendly bubonic is activated within. Okay, so it is wherever they are. That's different. Like he's holding the bell, I guess. He's holding so. the bell, yeah. Um, well, you know what? That's not too bad. Okay, yeah. He's going to dong the bong. So anybody who is within a pentagon, six inches of my, uh, of that guy, they're going to get an extra circle to their movement. Uh, and so that's one action point. He's then going to, I'm fairly confident that I can just make it to the door <laughs> there so. um, with, uh, with four. I mean, he was there. Yeah, great. Uh, and then his last action point. Urch. He's going to open that knock door. Knock that sucker open. He's going to knock it open. Uh-oh. Uh, and uh, that's his turn. Go ahead, Wait, Ian. Isn't it the standard bearer that has the bell? Nope, the standard oh. bearer has the icon. Yes. Right, right. That does a different thing. Yep. All right, well, we're going to try that again anyway here. So we're going to go out. Circle. Right. It's only so long I can circle. make you not get shot at, my man. Circle. Square. That gets him right up here. So you're moving and dashing? Yep, dashing. Okay, so that's two of your action points yep. then. And then for the third action point, we will activate. Holy crap, you made it? Yeah. Jesus. All right. Two points for Ian. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Jeepers. Man, dude's got zoomies. Okay, all right. Got his eye on the prize. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, that's three action points, so yeah. Back, okay. Back to you. Back to me. <laughs> um, the Hulk. So I just want to double check if um, the, the 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 fun little terrain features, in this case the pipes, what kind of uh, mm-hmm. cover. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's just light. Well, uh, let's see. There's walls, hatchways, and accessible. But I don't think there's ancient accessible. apparatus. They have the heavy and traversable traits, which means it is obscuring. Damn it. <laughs> well, this is it. Hold on. It is. No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, sorry. Somebody in the chat there. Do we double check on the... Oh. Is it the inside or the outside that get you to the two points? It's the outside that gets you two points? That was my assumption? But, um, but, but I think okay as somebody that? noted, it. I should just double check it. Thank you for thank you for being here and helping out, team. Ooh. Um then it might be 2 AP to activate it. Oh. 2 AP, yeah. If that's the case. Ah, then. okay, yeah. So it is the out, so if you'd like to take that whole turn back, you're welcome to. The the, the outside ones do give you 2 AP, but they, or uh, two victory points, but they, they cost two AP. require two, okay. Yeah. The center ones are still one though, right? One for one? Oh wait, hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, I can, oh my God. The fact that it's AP and VP, so close. Yeah. Okay, if this changes things, let me know. Um, the outside ones get the exact same amount of victory points. Okay. Um, but they cost two AP. Oh. Okay. So the interior is the more important one, I guess, technically. Yep. Or the easier one. The easier to one to get. But... Um, if that changes your deployment at all, uh, you're welcome to do so. I'm gonna say we just we, we, we can keep moving from here. Okay. It um, it would not change mine. So if you wanna change yours, you're welcome to. Yeah. No matter what happens. I might just try and get go for a uh a kill them at this point from this vantage point. Okay, sure. But you're gonna keep your guys kind of where they all were. I think so. Situationally. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks for thanks for double checking that. I, I would have hated to, to do that wrong. So yeah, all the pipes are worth exactly the same, but the outside ones are harder to do. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, let's have him sit there. 
take the shot against your guy. Sure. And we're going to try, do we get... Oh, yeah, you, he's, yeah. he is wide yeah, open. No you reason. got it, man. Okay, that is, he has no gun, which means that he is... That's gonna make it difficult. That's gonna make it very shot. hard to shoot me. In. The, the model, it's, hmm. it's 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 a psychic gun. It's it's actually not a psychic. Look, Wait, there's, it? that that actually means something. Let's not use that word. It's so, gonna be storm storm bolter. It's a regular storm bolter. Yep. No extra things. Okay. Uh, not that I'm doing. Just before I hit that, I want to think here. Uh, you are on that double shot um, command. Both, yes, right. so we're going to be doing that. Yeah, I think I think that 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 oopsie whoopsie would have been a bigger deal if we were playing armies that weren't just six dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Beep. All right. So let's throw four dice to start with here. Okay. Uh oh boy, uh, I'm going to be using relentless to re-roll all of those. Okay. Um, I am uh, three three defense th uh, three defense dice three ups. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Much better. Uh, we're looking at two crits, two hits so far. Uh, I have two crit saves and one regular save. Okay. <laughs> so I guess take three damage. Uh, no, no, or oh, sorry. Oh, you said two crits and two regular two hits. hits. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. You do four. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna take these three dice. I revoltingly mm -hmm. resilient roll. Come on, baby. Uh, one six, so I'm going to take two damage. Okay. Uh, so uh, gunners are 12 wound models. Uh, damn it, that's the one thing I forgot to grab. I'll go grab those in a sec here. Okay. But for now, um, we'll that's switch these out. But this is down to 10 wounds. We get our, D our <laughs> pile of D20s. Yes, the we yeah. got to bring in the wine glass OD20s. There you go. We'll just do that for now. Okay, great. Cool. Because we're going to be doing that same thing again. Right. I forgot you had double shoot. Man, I really put my gunner out there. That's okay. It's fine. Uh, and I'm going to re-roll one of those. So I've got three hits so far. Or sorry, one crit and two hits. Uh, okay. Two hits, one crit. Okay. What's your crit? Crit is six, I believe. Because, yeah, we have nothing, no other modifiers for that. Okay. So it's three, six? Three. Uh, how much damage does your crit do? uh, It gives four on a crit. Four on a crit, three on a regular hit? Correct. Okay. Um, that's probably fine then. Because I've got three regular saves. And what was your roll? Uh, roll is one crit, two hits. Okay. Um, so I'll use two of my uh, dice to... Ooh, wait. Mm, you know what? Actually, I'm going to use a ploy. Oh. Uh, I'm going to use... Oh, boy. Why did I put my phone away? Uh, revolting durability. So it's going to cost me one. All my things are revolting, as you can't tell. Uh, I can change one of my opponent's crit hits into a normal hit. Okay. So I'm gonna turn the crit into a normal and I will save all those. Okay. Well done. <sighs> Thick boys. Okay. Um, that's that guy? Yep. So that guy's got a, he's still got that Overwatch shot mm -hmm. too. That's annoying. Um. All right, you know what? I'll activate the... So does that Overwatch shot just activate as soon as you activate? Uh, it's... So if I basically, much like XCOM, cross the field of vision, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> right. uh, you, you can shoot me. Yeah. Um, I'm going to activate my warrior. Okay. Um, so he is within dong distance, I would say. Yep. Uh, so he's got three. He's got a. He's got just a regular old marine movement. Ain't that special? I can move. Um, so I'm gonna go. Let's see. Doink, doink, doink. So he's there. Yeah. Let's see that. So he's gonna move. Just around the edge. Yeah, and he's going to dash. And the Overwatch doesn't take effect until the end of his movement, right? Uh, so now you're well. So if you want, and you're you're seeing me, you can shoot me now if you'd like. Yeah, that's what I'd prefer if possible. Okay. Yeah, then go for it. Good. Let's yeah, do he's that. wide out in the open. Yep. So you're doing an Overwatch shot. So your ballistic skill is one less. Worsened by one. Yeah. Uh, and that is uh, no. 
barrel. Just want to make sure they've got nothing special on him. Okay, good. Yep. Kachanka. God, I wish we had the dramatic slowdown cam. Oh. Well, um, I'm still going to give him relentless and re-roll all of those. Okay. Much better. One hit, one crit. I got two crits. Okay, so he gets through. <laughs> I'm rolling all right today, wow. baby. It's gonna, it's gonna come biting me in the butt later. It's, it's I all, think so. it's all front loaded. Okay, uh, I will. Uh, Continue on with your dash. Yeah, I will dash. Right there. Um, and I have one more point. Which I can't really do anything with. Oh, uh, right, I can guard. Not that I guess your guy's going to do anything, mm -hmm. but he's going to... He's going to guard. I guess Ian's guys have already moved, so... Yep. Yeah. All right, your turn, man. Okay, uh, let's get inside. So that's going to matter here, too. A second, so let's see. All right, we're moving into the interior. Two, Crocodile alligator. Three. Move up, they'll activate for one. Cut chunk. Is it the other way? Is it, is it the other way? No, it's it's just a stucky boy. I don't want to accidentally break my shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's all good. Oh, that is a stucky boy. There we go. There we go. And it only took off a little chip of paint. Eat. There we go. Okay. So he's there. Just muffled. The door stuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's locked to you and you can't get in. <laughs> uh, I guess he can technically. Dash, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Mm. Yeah, we'll just, you know what? Yeah, let's dash in there. Okay. So in there, square, is that behind the wall? Okay, uh, that's three action points. Yeah, that's three action points. Okay. Terrible um, idea. Uh, no, I mean, my guys are in uh, cover, or in conceal, so. Yeah, I so. actually just wanted to double check and make sure I'm not doing uh, big, hashtag big cheats. Um, I just wanted to make sure that while I'm in conceal, I can be in guard, because it's like it's kind of like mm, shooting, mm -hmm. which is probably a really good thing to know. Um, so kind of a little difference here. Yeah, so, uh, the operative goes on guard. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything about you having to be in engage. I, I think uh, you might have to be in engage. Really? Guard technically, if an enemy action interrupt with an overwatch fight or point blank, which means you now have to reference what overwatch's rules are which are only on engage order and not on... Ah, right. You always got to go down the tree. Okay, yep. so this guy is technically not guarding then, but it Nested doesn't matter. orders. I just used the two. Yep, that's fine. Um, that's okay. Whatever. We're so, learning. We're all learning, yeah. Uh, okay. Then I am going to activate my icon bearer. And he is going to, let's take a look at what my movement be like up in here. So he's got the, he's definitely within dong distance. He was there the, for everything. So he gets in. I mean, with his move. Pentagon is just really an average dong length. Mm hmm. Um, remember, Pentagon is six inches. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember. Uh, okay, yeah, he's going to activate his icon. So anybody who is within a uh, uh, one square, one square of him uh, gets to reroll ones and twos on revoltingly resilient, including himself. Uh, and so mapping it out, his move is going to get him just in, and then he's going to dash right here, and that'll be his full. Okay. Little scooby, dude, you gotta put this. You gotta put it down. Let's get him nice and scraping across the ceiling the whole get time. Get him, yeah, nice and. His booty's sticking out, but he's got a, he's got a conceal order. So it's like he also is like carrying a giant flag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm sure they won't I notice can, me. I can see you over there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't All right. Shoot the icon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
your turn. Right. Um, boy, oh boy, so we got the door open. How far can we get in there, do you think? About the same as me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly what I did. You. you know what? Let's just do that. Do you want to do the same thing? All right. Actually, you know what I think I want to do here? I'm going to play around with this. One, two, three. Get some just inside the door. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the guy with typer armor. That gives me the control of all those things. For a dash. And then it's still two, a. It's one. To one. Do those. Then. Hit it. You got it. All right, so you're at one, technically. There yes. you go. One point for Ian. Hey, there we go. Longboard. Very nice. Um. Okay. My turn now, eh? Yep. Um. Well, I kind of had a feeling I was going to do exactly this. Um. Now, does he get the over now you, you get to finish your move, but does he get another overwatch? Shot? He does uh no, he only gets okay, the one. Good. Yeah. Uh so he's going to scoot his butt right there. Um I'm just I'm gonna keep these here. <laughs> Got five. Uh and I'm gonna use my ability. I'm changing this to an engage order. Uh and I would like to argue are they, they are they the same unit? It, or do they have do they have different better does one have a cooler thing than the other does one yeah you, you want to be sure uh, not to I'd like to shoot the cool one yeah uh, no barrel has nothing special and no gun has he has the sanctic blessing that's the this one right here all right uh, I would like to shoot that guy okay so he based on our rules and and, and line of sight rules uh, he is visible you mm -hmm. can very clearly see he is however uh he's got an engage order so the obscuring thing doesn't matter mm -hmm. but he is behind cover so he's gonna have light cover so he's got light cover yeah so you are still going to get to retain one defense dice yep. no matter what however i thought I'm, so <laughs> i'm shooting you with a plasma gun and in this house we don't ever not supercharge <laughs> And, and no range on that plasma gun. Just want to be. There is no sure. range. No, no, no. Cool. Yeah, okay, it's good. uh, it's it's your good old fashioned plasma gun. All right. Um, I just want to double check exactly. So, uh, for those of you who haven't uh, don't know what it does, um, supercharge ups. It, it has this exact same thing. Plasma guns are gross. It's a four four roll, uh, three up, five six, but it gets AP two. So if any of my hits are crits, Ian loses two of his defense dice. Just yeah. So in this case, he gets his defense save, his free save from being in cover. Um, however, uh, any uh, any dice result of one, and he takes three mortal wounds. That's that's the hot, right? That's hot. I yes. think that's you that takes the. I do. Wounds. Sorry, yeah. that, that, yes. that's what I meant by okay, it. Yeah. Good. Um, <laughs> but the thing about Nurgles are yep, mortal we... wounds are still stopped by disgustingly resilient. Yep. <laughs> so you, you can even be resilient against things blowing up in your like your mm. own stuff no. oh sorry i'm thinking you're thank you very much goombalax you're right i'm thinking of px px is if you crit ap is just you don't get it yep so you get one normal save oh boy so that's <laughs> it <laughs> that's it <laughs> <laughs> all right no ones big whammies big whammies <laughs> oh Boy, that is just about the worst Ooh. roll that could have happened. Um, I'm gonna command re-roll one of them. You, yep. So, so far it's N hit. Wow, that was bad. Oof. Okay, so that is a hit, right? It's three up, yeah, and this was, so it's two regular hits. Boy, that's disappointing. Uh, and I take three mortal wounds. Okay. Um, which I'm gonna roll here. Real quick. Yeah, and then we can deal with my damage. Uh, I save one, so I take two. I'm down to eight. Uh, and you will take uh, five. Five damage. So that means he... And you, you don't get to defend that at all? Nope. Wow. Well, so uh, because um, it has AP two, it, uh, the armor penetration two removes two of his defense dice. Mm -hmm. um, normally he gets three, and because he's in cover, he gets to auto-retain one. Yeah. So I had two hits. So one cancels each other out, 
and then the last one goes through her body. And because it's plasma, an overheated plasma, it's big damage. It is big damage, yeah. He's down to six, which we will... He's down to six. Now, what is your... How many wounds? Total wounds is 11. Damn! He's not injured yet! He's not injured yet! Oh, (laughs) all right. Billy! That went poorly, so, but you know five, what? Five damage to him, two damage to you. That's still you're still you're still in head. It's the, you know yeah. Yeah, you know all things considered, um, that went horribly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for you and me both. For for us both. Uh, great. It is your activation, buddy. Okay. I assume you're coming. Do you want to just? Uh, I guess. Do you want to just roll around and I come hang out over sh- on this side? I can actually lean over here. Okay. And then you know, shove everyone in the back of my cleanly shaven head. Care about you, chat. <laughs> Okay. So we need two AP. <laughs> I like the phrase considerable whammies. Yeah, we're just going to snug on up behind there. Okay. And uh, we'll use. He's going to use uh, manifest psychic powers. Okay. For his third one to give himself armored resilience, so until the end of the turning point, operative save characteristic is improved by one. Okay, so you're normal. So it's two ups. Yeah. So for Char, it'll be two ups for the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, and yeah, he'll stop right there. Okay. Um. All right. Well, being within bongable distance, um, I think I'm just gonna wrap my uh, my my champion around. Um, where do I keep putting my... Oh, why do I... <laughs> why do I have both I don't of those? Know. <laughs> I think I may have just put it over there. Okay, uh, so bongable distance, which means one, two, three. You know what? He's going to get to go right up there. Uh, I am going to... Can I shoot and guard? Probably not, eh? That seems pretty... No, I think that's allowed. Yeah. I can shoot and guard. He's an Overwatch. If he's on the engagement order, yeah. Because that guy's got an engage order, right? Yeah. I think. Yeah, you you went uh, mirror on that mm-hmm. side. Okay. I don't see any reason not to. Cool. I'm going to do that. So uh, I'm fairly confident that I've got... Uh, oh. Chet says guard is a, technically a shoot action. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can only do that if you can double shoot. Got it. Um, hmm. Well, I could guard then. Hmm. Or I could just have no fear. I mean, if you've got time to guard, you've got time to go hard. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to use my. Yeah, I'm. Go- I'm going to just. Do two actions here by uh, guarding. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll be me. Alrighty then. Let's have a look here. Uh, so that'd be triangle wings. Is it going to be square? Yeah, we'll just move up behind here. Decent. And uh, he will guard. Okay, being my last boy within bongable distance. Um, one, two, three, and I'll dash him. Right there. Uh, he's going to shoot Captain Defense, <laughs> uh, which I believe I've just got a full on shot there. Can pretty much. Yeah, I'd say from that. Yeah, from your far side, it's a clean shot. Sure. I mean, you've got your two up save, which is pretty gnarly. Yeah. Um, and this is just a regular old bolter. Nothing special. Okay. Three dice on two ups. Okay. I got four hits. Uh. Okay, I'm going to command point reroll that one there. Sure. 
that's a two. Good, that is a... So three blocks, one's getting through. Okay, uh, I believe that is just going to be three damage. Yep, three, three damage. damage. Okay, that takes it down to nine damage total. So just... There. <laughs> Talk a lot of smack for someone within vulnerable distance. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's everybody. Yeah. That what a refreshingly quick turning point one. <laughs> <laughs> We've been playing some real long ones, and it's perfectly within our break time, too. We did it! We're so good at this. <laughs> We've the, these, this is the Kill Team boys. Uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, a little bit of blood has been shed. Yes. The hatches have been opened, and turning point two, as I think with most games Kill Team, is where things are going to get, I think, a little messy. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to take a quick little three-minute break so we can run our contractually obligated ads. And when we come back, more Kill Team after this. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody, to AFK here on the Loading Ready Run Network, where Ian and I are playing some Kill Team. Oh, yeah, it's that time of the... It's that time of the cycle, and so... That's, that's not that's better! Not better. <laughs> Ian! It is the time when we play Kill Team, and we are playing Kill Team as stated. <laughs> ah, welcome back. All right. We are just about ready to get into Turning Point 2. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. We're, we're both, all the hatches are open. W words have been exchanged. Mm -hmm. We also got spin downs. Uh, oh. theming uh, to our, uh, to, to kind of our colors and stuff, which mm -hmm. I think will be a lot better. Uh, so, uh, turning point two, I guess we roll for initiative to start. to start. Please, I would really appreciate what'd you get. Good luck. Yeah, I got a three. I got a six. Okay. So, and you, you had, you had good luck. <laughs> All right, so I assume you're uh, going to yep. take first activation. Yeah, cool. so we'll ready up, uh, do you want it to go black to orange or should we flip them all over? Uh, let's I'm, flip dippy. I mean, we, yeah, I, we can go either. That's actually, I, you know, I never considered that. But for ease, like, quick of game, that's... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we need to agree with that and then be consistent with it. Otherwise, it'll just get very it confusing. It gets confusing, yeah. yeah. That's fine. We'll go orange. Yeah. Helps when it's not a huge army. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so that's that. Mm -hmm. We gain our CP. Boop, boop. And we decide whether or not we want to play any tactical ploys. Uh, yes. I have one, and we have a handy-dandy way of showing it. Paul, could you bring up Hold the Line? Love isn't always on time. Uh, so I chose the security archetype, which is weird. I'm here to protect the... Here to protect the, 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 the oxygen. Uh, so Hold the Line, I reveal this on the target reveal step of any t turning point after the first. At the end of any turning point, if there's no operatives within a pentagon of my drop zone, I get mm. a victory point. Uh, and... For any subsequent turning point after that, uh, that that is still true, I get a victory point. Okay. And you guys are three AP APLs, right? Yes. Okay, good, because I'll be using the security ar archetype. Okay. Uh, oh, we're both secure. <laughs> I will be using central control. Ah! Whereas if I reveal this tech off and tactical reveal step during turning point, at the end of the turning point, if the total APL of friendly operatives within a square of the center of the kill zone is greater than that of the enemy operatives, I score one VP. Okay. And that happens for every subsequent turning point as well, for another subsequent turning point okay. as well. Okay. Um, I should mention, and I, I definitely should, uh, uh, that because uh, I have an, I because they're an icon bearer in mm -hmm. the center where it will matter, um, I treat this operative's APL characteristic as being one higher. Okay. So it's a it's a four. Oh, Jesus. It's yeah. a four. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's less good. Mm -hmm. But oh well. Okay. Uh... Great. Uh, any other target reveals here? Uh, I'm going to stick with the one for now. I got one more uh, black order there by your... Uh... Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. You know what? Central control. What? I also have central control. Oh, well, I've already <laughs> passed on this, so... Uh, you No, if you got more that you want to reveal... Well, thinking, thinking about it, thinking about it. You know what? I, can, can you reveal them all? Or are you only allowed to do one per? Yeah, get back to us, chat. This hmm. is the first time I've ever just wanted to like slam dunk all of my orders. Can we just go full Monty? Okay. 
I'm pretty sure... Uh, the... You can reveal as many as you have the conditions for. You know what? I'm going a whole hog. Oh, no. I've got damage limitation. Uh, so I reveal this tack op in the target reveal. At the end of any turning point, if none of my operatives are incapacitated during that turning point, I score a victory point. Well, uh, sounds like a good one to put down. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm really curious what your last one is. You know what? There's no reason for, for it to not be out. Let's uh, do it. Yeah. Protect assets. Oh, what's what's your ass? At the end of the turning point, if two or more enemy operatives were incapacitated while within circle of an objective marker during that turning point, or while carrying an objective during that turning point, I score a VP. Okay. All right. So. So I suggest you don't go near any of the objectives. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll stay away from them. Yeah, that seems like a good call. <laughs> so you need to kill two? Yeah. Okay, that's the exact number that is going on. Uh, all right, any uh, any ploys you're using this turn? Uh, jeez. I am going to be using one. I'm very tempted to... Uh, yeah, we're going to continue to shoot ploy. Double shoot? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be using Contagion. Okay. Uh, so until the end of the turning point while you are uh, visible to and within two and within a, a circle of one of my death guards, uh, you're treated as being injured. If I'm, I'm within, if, I, if I'm within circle of if, your guy. If you're within circle of my guy, who, it's treated I'm as an injured, injured unit. And that, that decreases my my skills, doesn't Yeah, it? so it, it uh, reduces your movement by one circle mm -hmm. and uh, makes all of your attack characteristics one worse. Wow. But not defense. Yeah. Okay, that's something. Yeah. But I mean, if you're fighting, it's... Yeah. Smelly boys! Uh, even flavin'. Uh, great. Uh, th that's all I want to do. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I guess let's get it started. All right. You're up first, my man. Okay. Um, well, you know what? It's <sighs> like, uh, buddy, uh, I'm not saying you stink, but, uh... All of my units are being treated as injured when they're near you. Just, just so you know. Just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think there's a, there's a wall. I don't think I see it. So that's no bueno. Mm -hmm. They are in cover. And now, as as units activate, you can then choose what their if their order wants to going to change. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it still holds over from whatever there was on the last one, and then as you activate it, it changes. Okay. Let's uh, make some bad decisions here. Okay. Love bad decisions. That's like how I play these games. <laughs> I mean, you shot me in your first movement. Three. Mm -hmm. So move up into here. I think that's going to give me. That's a shot on you. Right? Oh, yeah, you've got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and let's do that then. Uh, we'll double shooty on your icon bearer. Okay. My icon bear. Oh, did, did you do that? Is that double shooty one still in effect? He did it again. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a reflex. Cost, cost one command point to use. And that's... Uh, that one's slender. They've got the cybolt ammunition. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Let's... Roll four there. Uh, okay, we're going to use Relentless to roll, re-roll two of those die. Okay. Got one more command point left, or have I completely... You have one more point left. Uh, yeah, let's re use the command re-roll for that. Okay. Perfect. Two crits, two hits. Whoo-wee! Okay, uh, I got a crit and a hit, so I'll take a crit and a hit. Okay, uh, ba -ba -ba. so that's going to be... Uh, Ooh. Mm, well, so a crit and a hit would be seven damage, right? Uh, yes, but it's plus one to damage because of the cybold ammunition, so that'll be... Yeah. Wait, nine, because plus one for each hit. For... To the damage? Uh, so it would be... so. How does the the shot? What what is the actual equipment? Let's have about? a look here. Because I think you said yeah. it, it just it just changes the normal. And I damage. think that's I think you're right on there. So which is much is better than crit, but yep. in this instance, we're... select one storm bolter the operative is equipped with. Add one to that weapon's damage characteristics for the battle. So no matter if you crit or hit, it's always the same damage. Okay, okay, so that's just going to be just to the base level damage then. Yeah. So then that's eight damage. Be eight damage. 
So the damage characteristic mean specifically means the regular thing. Yeah. Otherwise, it would say the critical damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, eight damage coming through. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Roll eight them. dice, baby. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been more appropriate to say roll them bones. <laughs> yeah. All right, eight dice. Let's go. Please protect my bones. Five or sixes. Uh, not bad, honestly. I wish I, I wish he wasn't the first one getting shot, but that's a, that's all right. Uh, so that is five damage going through. I save I save three. Okay, great. Uh, which I believe means that puts him at seven, and as a twelve wounder, please. Yes, he's a twelve wounder. He is not injured. Great. Now he's about to be. Yes, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> same uh, thing, same as the first. Okay, I've got two crits. I will relentlessly re-roll the other two. Done. And those are both hits. So two crits, two hits. Uh, yeah, same exact thing. So eight coming through. Yep. Hey, let me grab this eight dice that I have set off to the side. Yeah. Oh, one came over here. Okay, so you got something there. Uh, yeah, not bad. Same exact thing, wow. I think. I'm consistent. Oh, wait, no, one better. No, wait, I rolled too many dice. Okay. <laughs> do you yeah. want to just do a reroll or? Uh, what do you? What, what would you like the fix to be? Uh, take away one of mine and make it the same, or a reroll. Let's yeah, let's take away one of yours and just make it the same. Cool. Okay, so I'll take five. Uh, it goes down to two. That boy injured. Go. Okay. So, this is somebody in chat did say that that it does count on both. Does adds it? One to both. Cybolt adds one to both damage characteristics. Oh well, I guess that just means you take two more damage then. Or I make or make two more rolls. Oh yeah, yeah. So it would be two more damage each time. So I'd be yeah. doing four rolls. No, yeah. No, one one more damage. Or no, there's because you each time you stopped one of the crits. Right. Like each time you were taking one hit. But it adds one, one to each of the damage. Yes. Yeah, so right. each time you were taking one hit and one crit. Right, and there was two shots, so that'd be four damage in total. Correct? Right? But you, you were already So if I took, so to, like, to math this out, I took a crit and a hit, and it's one more damage for each of those. Right. Right? So that's two. He shot me twice. But you, weren't you already? You're already counting plus one on the regular. Yeah, one, I think you only roll two more times for. Okay, sure, right, 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 right. We were, so yeah. we were right. We we're counting it on the normal. That's where I was missing the info. One of these just needs to be a five or six. <laughs> Come on, baby. Ah, yes. Thanks, Papa Nurgle. <laughs> five, baby. One is not. Zero. One is not zero. All right. Oh. Oof. Great, I love that. <laughs> I love that for me. Yeah, nope, you, you, you had a good time. <laughs> Lots of interactions. Uh, okay, I would like to do something a little bit different. I, I'd like to do it exactly the same, but please, y y it's your turn. So. Sure, okay. Um, you, oh God, it, I always, I, I just forgot the one little thing. Can I shoot and charge? Shoot, you can only not charge if you move or dash, right? So I could shoot, dash, shoot, charge. Melee? Uh, move, so you want to shoot, yep. charge, melee. You can shoot and charge? Yeah. Yeah, that, that seems, yeah, that seems right. charge, fight? I don't see anything here that says you can't do that. Cool. That sounds great. Just good to know. Um... You can't, sure can, just need the APL, which we have exactly yes, that for it. Um, but that's not what I want to do to start. So this guy, what's his, he had damage on him, didn't he? Yes, he did. He, right, he had taken five. Yes, so he would he's be done at, six, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh. Okay. This might be silly. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's, but I'm doing it. It's kill team. Uh, I am going to... It's 
So it's one to go whoop. over, yep. Death Guard noted silly billies. And one. Uh, how much closer do I got to get? Where's my, where's my stick? Where's my stick? Why do I keep losing my stick? Uh, dash. Dash, okay. The dingle bingo is not in effect anymore. No, right? so I only moved two, that's why. <laughs> so that's a um, move and a dash. Pistol damage range. Pistol range. Cool, I'm going to throw a crack, a crack grenade in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! Uh, so crack grenade is big scary. Uh, it's AP1 and indirect. Um, okay. So these guys are going to be rolling one fewer die. Yep, each. Uh, now, because it's indirect as well, I believe that means you don't get cover. Yeah, I believe that's the case. So you'll be rolling two dice for each of those guys. Nice. Um, we can do each one individually. Are these blast? Uh, it is not blast. It is a range, <laughs> range pentagon. So pistol range, limited AP1 indirect. Okay. According uh... to this. So it doesn't get like the 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 lethal five or whatever yeah. from being. Apparently there's a range of square to pentagon to indirect damage, but then, mm -hmm. uh, according to the modified special rules for Into the Dark, Indirect is range square when used. So oh. I think the, I think I don't know if that means that the the uh, indirect yeah. area is square or if it's. But I'm pretty sure they're both within square. But right, because there's a ceiling. Right. Um. I uh, thank thank you, Paul. That's what's working. Yeah. That's what's working to my favor is the ceiling. <laughs> Shoot. That would have potentially changed where I was going to go. Um, uh -oh. Crack grenades only. Right, because it's not blast. Right, right, right crack grenades. Um, it's a drug addiction. Shoot, that was my whole game plan for this turn. Injured for life. Would you care terribly, because that was a rule problem, um, if I do my double shoot? Um, change your, your order? Change my order? Not at all. You're cool with that? Yeah. We're both zeros together! Yeah. <laughs> um... Well, actually, can I do that instead of the contagion one? Yeah. I yeah. mean, you're, you're taking the, uh, yeah. I'm going, yeah. You're okay. You're taking the point for it. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm double shooting instead of being stinky. Cool. Uh, I will double, I'm going to activate my plasma friend, though. Uh, and he is going to use his first shot uh, at the same one that he shot before. Um, is... And because there's no cowards in this house, uh, it is, of course, being supercharged. So I'm I'm back to one successful retained yes. dice. Yes. <laughs> two two supercharged yeah. shots. Yeah, we're playing this at Ariel Axed. And if Ian <laughs> needs take backs, he's got them for sure. Um I would really like this to not roll once <laughs> this time. A much better roll would be dope. Okay, there's no ones. That looks good. There are three hits. Uh, which would be 10 damage going through. And you know what? That's, I mean, if, you, if we're removing one of them, mm -hmm. that's still, uh, what's that going to be? If it's still 10 damage after removing one, then yeah, yeah that's absolutely dead. All right. Boop. One has died. Oh, Gene. We hardly knew ye. Gene, uh, Gene. <laughs> Gene. Time for shot number two. With the same rules. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll retain my single... Yep. Uh, same dealio. Three hits. Three So 10 hits. damage going through. Okay, 10 damage. That's going to injure him because he'll be down to a one. Okay. Um, and I guess I could just like... Hmm. Hold on. Let me... Uh... Each. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get behind the obscuring thing. There we go. Uh, and that'll be Plasma Boy. Oh yeah, that's super behind there. Plasma's gross. It's a very gross weapon. Yeef, yeef, yeef. Yeah, there's no way I can get to that boy, unfortunately. I think um, this. Uh, I had it in my head that it was because they also have what is it, blight grenades, which are the hit everything thing, Definitely. and that's what I think I was. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, blight grenade blast limited, ceaseless. 
He's a ceaseless. I got nine notifications that my dog is barking. <laughs> Why are you barking, Remy? Move. That that's like an automatic like sensor. Yeah, I have my 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 camera lets me know when Remy be barking. That man is going to get some melting. <laughs> yeah, I think so. so. This is your gunner, right? Yes. Does Does Remy know that you get informed when he barks? I mean, I don't think Remy has an understanding of like cameras or anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking at six die uh, with a two plus to hit. Okay. Six die, two, wait, six die, two ups to hit? Yeah. How much is the damage? Uh, two, three. So it's not a lot, but <laughs> it just needs to get through. Pretty good. Uh, I'm just wondering here. This is the guy with one hit point, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have just the nuttiest, disgustingly resilient roll. Just you watch. X. Yeah, no, he's not. He's obscured. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's six hits. Uh, that's one save. Okay, so how much? Six. How much? Oh yeah, because this matters. So six times two is, or sorry, yeah, six times two is twelve. Four times two is eight. Eight. I, I forgot to roll a die. Sorry, one second. Oh yeah. There we go. So we'll take one out. Six times two, five times two is ten. Ten total. All right, ten dice. I just need to save with 10 of them. Somebody quickly work out the odds. Yeah, <laughs> never tell me ten, the odds. Ten, work them out, but never sixes. tell me them. <laughs> oh, Torrent means it has lethal five plus. Oh. Oh, right, yeah, because we're in things. So those are all crits. Uh, one of them is a crit. One's a crit. Yep. So that would change it so, to... Yeah, one crit and four hits. So that is eight, 11 damage total. All right, I need to save. I, the, the amount of dice that I need to save is not really changed in that it is all of them. I mean, I've had worse. It's three. Oh, yeah, easy. <laughs> uh, ooh, wait, hold on. How, no. cl how close are you? How close am I? I am. Let's see. And how close do you need to be? Yeah. Well, I am actually. Are you within a circle? I am not within a circle. I am within a square. Damn. I'm st All right. Well, are you sure? Do you I... not want to inch a little bit closer? Oh, you know, I'll just put the circle down there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's got to be. That's mm, got to be a wiggle room. It's holy within there. All yeah. right. Damn. All right. You dead. Okay. And for his final action, he will set up a guard. Uh, right, because you have double shoot. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm imagining that as like. Uh, you know, Will Smith in uh, Men in Black, where he just like shoots a guy and it, they just like explode into a pile of goo. Mm hmm. Um. Now, Ian, you have to, you have to hit, you have to kill two guys in near the objective in order to get a victory point. Right? Mm hmm. And I don't even think he was actually with a square. Well, a circle? Yeah, I think he was in a circle of a, a point, so. Um, all right. I think I'm going to activate my champion. Yeah, let's do that. Um... Oh my god! Now that I'm now that I'm moving normal plague marine style, I'm, uh, one, two. <laughs> I'm gonna go go right there. So slow. Uh, uh -oh. you can I, only, you can only ring the bell once. No, I can ring it as much as I want, but there's no one within dingle distance. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so I believe I have visibility. He is uh, not engaged, but I. You're, you're not obscured. Like you, so you need to be more than a circle away from yeah, the obscuring. Yeah, which I am so, not. So. so you're not obscured, but you are in cover. I would say. Yeah, right. That's, that's what I'd say. You can take the shot, but I get the one. Yeah. So you get one. Uh, so this is just a regular bolt gun, although it's a Plague Marine Champion's bolt gun, and he's slightly better at shooting. Okay. So he's four two up. 
This is Char, and he gets uh, defense-wise three defense dice, three up. So you get to roll two dice? Yes, because you've got AP on the go and retain the one. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, sure. One critical save, one regular save, one retained save, and one miss. Okay. Uh, so that'd be two blocks and you'd take one shot? Yep, I think so. Okay. Uh, so that's just three damage. Okay. So he's down from nine to six. All right. The, and the two crits getting rid of one is the, uh, that was only that, no, that was that special rule for your, for your custodes back in the day. No. Uh, so you're thinking of the, it's a parry, um, which my, I think it's my, Right, sorry, that's for close combat. Yeah, yeah but sorry. also, yeah, it's a, a two normals can stop a crit. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, all right, I'm going to double shoot. Oh, yeah, because you double shoot. I double shoot on this one. All right, no you were making it look so cool. Retain one. Uh, same thing, three hits. Oh, no, four hits. Right, it's two up. Oh. Okay, well, we've got uh, two saves and one nut. One nothing. Okay, uh, so then that will be... Uh, six damage. That's gonna take him away. Char, no! I feel bad about killing Char. That's the one. That's one of the Gundam characters I know. <laughs> it's okay. He'll be. I mean, a certain lieutenant will be back in the next time. Mm -hmm. Certainly not Char Asnable. Uh, and then I will, as my last thing, uh, I'm just gonna dash. Like this, so. That's a pretty safe bet. Like that. All right. Hmm. Man, we've got some danger going on here. Yeah, a little bit. The ranks are really thinning out now. Let's see. I mean, we might as well. We've got one left. Jeez. Yeah, wait. That guy shot and moved and shot twice, didn't he? Oh, you're right. So he can't dash. Yep, you're absolutely correct. Thank you for double checking me. God, I'm so glad Goombalax is here. <laughs> really saving us. Real quick, too. This game's got so many rules. <laughs> okay, I don't really have. I mean, yeah, you're not completely obscured. So I get cover? No, but wait, you're. Uh, you are. That guy, so that guy hasn't activated yet. Yeah, not shooting either, so. If I move just over this way, though. Now you're wide open. Yep. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Double shooting on that man. All right. So you're injured, so it'll be, yep. you'll, you'll need one, one higher. Yep. On your roll. And that is... So probably four ups, I'm going to guess. Yeah, it's going to be four ups for that. Okay. Four die, four up, relentless. Four die, four up, relentless is still, like, fine. Uh, actually, one more thing here. Yep. Uh, no cover. Yeah. I am going to actually... Uh, so move. Activation of his... He's got a psychic ability. Psychic ability, yep. Yeah, what's this? What's Astral this? aim. Until okay. the end of the turning point, this operative's ranged weapon gained the no cover special rule, which means you do not uh, Get auto retain. No! All right, so I'm rolling three. Yep. Man! Who, who would have thought that with psychic powers it would have altered your aim? Well, we're going to uh, relentlessly roll one of those to bring it up to the minimum number necessary to hit you. God, relentless storm bolt. Okay, we got uh, so one crit, good. three hits. Uh, and crits are just one more, right? Yeah, yeah. Three to hit, four to crit. Sure. Uh, I will save three normal and take whatever the crit is. Okay, that's four. Four, okay. Four revoltingly resilient. <laughs> I take one. Oh. oh, mama! Papa Nurgle coming through. I go right. to 11. That, that, that was quite revolting. That's disgustingly resilient. Attack number two. All right. Oh, okay. We're going to start with that. Two crits and a hit, and I'm going to relentlessly roll the failure. We are looking at two crits, two hits. 
Two crits, two hits. Ooh, with two normal saves. So that'd be two crits. Yep, yeah, that'll be eight damage total. Okay, it's not enough to kill me, but... All right. Could put me in the injured zone. Uh, two saves, so I'm going to take six. Okay. Uh, which puts me down to five. That is an injured boy. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's his activation. All right. Um... He starts oozing slightly more than he was before. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to have Overwatch potentially next. So this is the guarding one, right? Yes. This could get in. Just short, I think. Yeah, just short of... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, um, that one inch is shorter than you think it is. <laughs> it really is. Uh, so he's going to make it to here. Okay. Hello, I'm in here. What? Would you like to shoot me in what? the face? I'm also uh, changing this to a uh, engage order. Yeah. What? Yes. Shoot. Hi. You have become in range. Okay. Where's my fighter? Uh, no relentless on this guy, thankfully. For you. <laughs> For me. But uh, I'm looking at uh, four hits, one crit. Ooh, buddy, I just rolled so poorly. Four hits, one crit? Correct. Um... Hits are... Uh, hits are two, crits are three. So, so eight going through. Eleven total. I'm going to command reroll one of these. Okay. It never works. I never know why I do it. Okay, so I save the crit. Okay, so that's eight total. Bud, don't like it. <laughs> so that, that was your last command point. Right? Yep. We're both, in the, we're both in zero town. Yep. Oh, good golly, that's great. Uh, <laughs> I take four. Uh, so my fighter is down to eight. It's my turn now. I have an pistol. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but your cleaver. Yeah, I, but you're too far. Come closer. Uh, all right. So I am within pistol range. Yeah, um, yeah. So this is four attacks, three ups. It's Bolt pistol is a bolter in... Pistol range. It's against my gunner, correctly? It is against your gunner. Okay, so we're looking at, for me, uh, three defense dice with three up. Uh, is he not wearing the super armor? You are correct. So it's three defense dice, two up? Yes. That's pretty damn good, man. Oof. Uh, I have a crit and a hit. I didn't roll very well. I have two saves. And a miss, so I guess I'll take care of the crit and oh. take the hit. Yeah, all right. Uh, so that'll be uh, three damage. Okay. Three off you takes you down to eight. Shot number two. Right. You just make it seem so fun. Well, I'm to blame for this. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. Oh, my goodness. Rolling Two real bad. Saves one miss. Okay, same thing. I got a crit and a hit. Then yeah, we'll take uh, another three. Yep. You're down to five, and I believe that wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that is my fighter. Yeah. All right, and your last man's is over here. Mm -hmm. uh, second to last man's. Wait, you have two? There's another guy over there. Yeah. Yeah, one here, one there. That guy's already gone. Oh, he has. Yeah. Remember? He, like, annihilated my icon, dude. Oops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, let's uh, finish up with this guy here, then. It does mean, I believe, because I've got two guys left, you're going to get an Overwatch shot. Yeah, that would Potentially. Be nice. Which I don't love. No. Okay, what do we need to... You know 
what we do here is we set up a guard action. Uh, actually, we're going to uh, yeah, armored resilience this gentleman. Okay. And then set up a guard. Okay. And that'll be his turn. Yes, because he needs to be in attack mode to guard. Right. Um, I'm going to, so I guess, do you have a shot if I go over to the thing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'm pretty sure. Let's just have a look there. From your tent? From your head? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think so. You're crossing right over the... Yeah, right yeah. There. And it goes under, but yeah, I'll say we'll say no then. Okay. Um, I wait no, because you're within a triangle of it, and no, this is heavy. Right. So it'd be obscuring stuff. Uh, do you want to scoot out a little bit? You had yeah, you only used let's two. Let's do that. Cool. Then there you go. Yeah. Cool. Now now you've got the ability to do it. Uh, I think it's probably still worth it. I am just going to move. All right, it's two for the outer ones, eh? Yeah. yeah. Those guys are currently undamaged, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow, do they keep jamming these? Uh, I'm going to, as my last, am I? Not quite, eh? No. All right, uh, little move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be engaging him. Um, just to kind of scoot right behind Yeah. Him. <laughs> I guess if I'm not shooting because it takes two. I'm going to just move, scoot him over, and he'll activate the thing for my victory point. Okay. Oops, that's my other points. Boop. There we go. Uh, that's him. You get an overwatch shot. Cool. I say begrudgingly. I mean, I think it just, it's gotta be that guy. Okay. Um, on your... Uh... Sure. So... All right, so we're looking at uh, six die. And this is Overwatch, so it must be so one gonna be more. So it's going to be two worse. Two worse, because right? Because he's, he's injured wounded. and yes. it's Overwatch. Okay. So, if so you, do you want to still do him? Two. Yeah, well, I, I think this guy's like big. I think big he's alive. probably fine. Okay. Can, can he do the damage? Though is the question. Can he do eight damage? He's the one with no X. Wait, is it? Is that guy have eight? Health left, or he's taking eight damage. He has eight health left. Ah, okay. Because it's only a single shot this time. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with the uh, the 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 gunner. Okay. Honestly. All right. So what is it? Five up. So it's six up. Okay. Nice. But then it's going to be two more for the weapon skill, ballistic skill. So we're uh, hitting on fours. Oh, so he's he's two up typically for his shot. Yeah. Okay, all right, so hitting on fours? Yeah, hitting on fours, six die. Not relentless, eh? Nope, not on that one. Uh, well, if it makes you feel any better, I only got one save, okay, so Okay, you... we got a crit and a hit. Okay. So that's a three and a two. Uh, so it goes down to five, which would put me in the injured zone. Yay. Right, you roll the... Oh, oh right. Still get to roll that, so. Uh, no, no. Yes. Hey. Okay. So six, which is it less than or equal to? I think it's equal to and lower than. Okay. All right. Then I, he is I injured. think. Um, oh wait. Here we go. Below fifty percent. Never mind. All right. He's is good. Holding on. <laughs> That's why I keep this here. It's so, the cheat sheet is great. Okay, my last dude gets to do things. Um, I think I'm just going to have him scoot up uh, and just plant himself here. Just avoid the shot. Yep. That's probably 
the smart way to go. Great. Um, and that is starting point two. Whew. Okay. Wow. Well, we're, we're tied up. But first, we've got to uh, do some uh, tech op stuff. Uh, yes. Do you want to do yours first? Um, I think, honestly, I don't think I actually got anything out of this. Uh, center control at the end of a turning point if it's within a square of the center. Oh, yeah. So the center would be this guy. I think the center is uh, so the center line here. And where's the fold in the... One, two, three, four, five, four, two, three. So the center line's got to be there, right down the middle. Okay. So I think he's in. Is it not this, like these squares? Oh, Would God, it... that could, yes, that is it. So it'd be this pillar? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it would be in between. So yeah, so this right one. There. Yeah, so yeah. The square. Uh, I think I'm just out of it, so uh, that'd be a cool. victory point for you. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, uh, any other ones? Uh, nope, didn't kill enough people. To, uh, to Two or more enemy operatives were in, so no. And You killed one. But I did also die, so that's my other one. Damage limitation. Mm. Uh, yeah, I also, yeah. But uh, I had hold the line. You didn't make it to my drop zone. That's a good so point. We're all tied up at two. Oh, no. Ooh, man. Okay. Uh, spooky. Uh, so we're going to make our way into turning point three. But first, it's actually, again, a perfect time. <laughs> a perfect time. So we're going to uh, take a quick little break here so that we can run some ads. And when we come back, uh, turning point three, the penultimate turning point. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to go quick. It, it might. It's this. I don't know. I think uh, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I just need to potentially try and not lose the center i don't know god it's it's all gonna come down to points isn't it <sighs> yeah I, yeah you know, course, no predictions of course in the, in the in the context of this uh it's not just like oh who got the most points it's who has air and who doesn't yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right we'll see you in a bit don't go all the way away oh hi welcome back to uh, AFK here on the Loaded Grid Run Network, where me and Ian are playing some Kill Team, mm -hmm. and it is a—it's a—it's a nail oh, fighter. It has been a I, boxing match. I, here. I have no idea how this is gonna no, go. No. I'm actually like super duper scared. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna move into turning point three. There's something else to say. Ian, Ian looks like he might control the center. Might get to control the center here, and I might be able to control the sides. I don't know. It's—it could go either way. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, let's move on to turning point three. Yes, we get ourselves some command points. Mm -hmm. We have pre-readied our operatives. Yep. And we are now about to roll for initiative. Oh, this is where it's all I could really down. use it. Just, just, just one initiative win. Five. Two. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. OK. Doable. All right. Um, so let's, uh, let, well, we've taken care of our, yep. all of our cards are on the table, as yep. it were. But we might have some strategic ploys to, uh, to think about here. <sighs> yes. Double shoot. Double. <laughs> <laughs> it's really strategic if you do it every time. Um... There's no vantage points in the in the dark, so that doesn't matter. Oh, and what do we got here? The guy with no axe, who technically has. What does Steve. your 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 this gentleman over here, this Zaku? Mm -hmm. What's his melee weapon profile? Well, that's slender, and uh, he currently holds a Nemesis Warding Stave, which has uh, five dice hitting on threes and up. For four and five on crits, <laughs> and it has stun. <laughs> Man, here I am bringing my big fighter into the thing, and that guy hits harder in melee than he does. I think. <laughs> I mean, he's doing it with a stick. It's on four up or three up. Three up. Unreal. Yeah, with a stick. Okay. Um. I 
need to remember what... What does rending do again? Rending is if you retain any crits, retain one normal hit as a crit as well. So if you get a crit, you get to add another hit that you have successfully made as a crit. Okay. So yeah, a crit and a hit becomes two crits. Yes. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use mine for contagion this turn. Okay. I think I'm still gonna bolter discipline. Okay. Because yeah. I don't want to get in range. All right. In this house, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there is no fear. Mm-hmm. And we always overcharge our plasma. Yeah. So I'm going to actually just charge this friendo here. All right. We're engaging in melee. We super are. Okay. So for, for the duration of this, he is treated as injured. So it's going to be four up for yours. Okay. But no worries. Mine is also four up. I'm pretty sure uh, there there is no f- the the death guard have no fear uh, due to a large amount of brain damage that they have incurred from all the diseases. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. <sighs> okay. How many? Nope, I don't have any CP at all, do so, I? So, uh, rending uh, triggers, mm-hmm. um, which is making mine three crits. Great. I had one hit thanks to his thanks to his injured status. Okay, uh, I am going to parry your one. Well, then... I mean, you get to start off here. With yeah. The, yeah, so... yeah, so I'll parry your one. Okay. Uh, and then I'll do two crits to you. Okay, what's that damage-wise? 14. 14 damage. Well, uh, Slender just explodes. Ha! Nurgle! <laughs> Think your stick is so great? Bring Pewdie stick to the axe fight. Oh, God. So did Contagion really save my butt there? Uh, the, the injury? Actually, yes. Because yeah. if not, uh, that would have been three more hits that I would have had. Okay, that that was my worry, was that if we trade blows back and forth, I would potentially, I, I think I would, because what's the crit on this, the stave? On the stave, uh, it is five damage. Oh, okay, so I, I I think I would have still been able to kill you, but I would have went down to one, but we, we lucked out there. We really? were, I think he's going to get his butt shot by this gunner <laughs> next, but uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be his activation. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Wait, that was just a charge in a fight, right? Yes. Am I... Is that triangle? I'll say yes for purposes of... Victory point. <laughs> I turn on the oxygen. Actually, there's an easy way to check that here. Because I was exactly one... Maybe not. Maybe not? All right. Uh, then... Is so Overwatch or uh, guard is a shoot action? Yes. Yes. Then I will guard. Okay. Don't you come around that corner, gunman. Uh, Don't you come around that corner, gunman. What can I do about this? Don't come around the corner, gunman. I got a gun. <laughs> and it's one AP to activate in the uh, inside? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you charge him, he can't overwatch you. But also, he has a gi- giant axe. So. Yeah, and yeah, fifty-fifty. <laughs> the I think the gunner's melee profile is fists. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got the armor, so he does have the big armor. It's true. Ah, <sighs> all right. Just need to punch six damage out of a plague marine. He is definitely not within a triangle, I think, either, of his thing. So, yep, let's uh, do the move, I guess. So there is close range overwatch, but from my understanding, um, because reading this, it's, the operative goes on guard. An operative is on guard until any of the following are true. It performs a guard attack. Uh, the en- or an enemy operative ends its action within engagement mm-hmm. range, and it does not. Okay. 
Ah, so that's it. And three. it does not make a guard attack. Oh. God, what a weird way of phrasing that. As though, I guess, I guess I can see an instance where, so if you charge in and I, it, and if you charge it, no matter what, at the end of this, you will lose guard. Mm -hmm. But it's up to, it's just really letting you know that even if you don't guard attack, you're going to lose it. And I guess sometimes you don't want a guard attack because sometimes melee will just get you killed. Yep. <laughs> which is what yeah. I'm coping on here. This is okay. my new gambit. So you're coming around the corner? Yep. Okay, I am going to blast you. Yeah, because that's what you want to do. Uh, so it is three up, four, three. Yep. Okay, and I am looking at uh, three defense dice with two, two ups. ups. You got your super armor? Yep. Come on, baby. Woo! Okay, all right. Crit two hits? Uh, two crits hit. Well, Nothing happens to me. Super. <laughs> but what happens to me? Well, let me check if you're in with, within range, and that's a pen. Yep, you bet. That'll do. Uh, let's see. Six die at uh, two plus. Uh, be three, right? Am I with... injured? Yes, you're right. So yeah, up to three. Okay. Six, Six dice seven. at three up. Still potentially enough to kill me. Okay, one crit, one regular. Okay, and we are looking at, on my side here, one crit and three regular. Okay, so I take two uh, coming in, two regular attacks. Yep. So that's four. four. You don't have to uh, re-roll on this one, eh? Not on this guy. Uh, oh, mama mia, that's three saves, so I go down to three. Eef. I will survive, but now I'm injured. My charge is not very fast. <laughs> so that was move, shoot. Mm -hmm. Right, and you got another shoot, don't you? Not on this guy. It's only on uh, only on storm boulders. Oh, the gunner can't double shoot. Yep. Oh, wait, they... but then how did you shoot guard that other turn? Oh, shoot. That's whatever. Okay. Who cares? That's. That's something that I totally That's forgot a, about. Oh, I, I just assumed that all of your guys were yep. able to do it, but whatever. Who cares? Whom cares? Whomst careth. Uh, so what do you want to do with your last action? Just chill, I guess? Uh, what's my... You know what? I'm gonna dash. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Is it out? Ooh. Oh, no, he's going back. Yeah, let's go back. Should put him right nicely here. Sure, that works. Uh, neat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, uh, oof. Not great for me. Um. Hi. My name is John Plasma. Uh. Of Plasma Incorporated. I'm here to knock this shit over, walk over here, fuck your chicken strips, uh, and, uh, supercharge my plasma. Because that's what we do. Uh, so that's four, three up, AP two, retain, put your one dice down that you get. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's uh, what I get when this happens. All right. Three up. Uh, that is four regular hits. I retain the one, he dies. Takes 15 damage. Horribly. <laughs> um. Man. That's Gene. That's, you got a one there, right? Oh, I did! And it's hot! <laughs> Ow! Good! All right. That's all right. Three damage. Three damage. Oh. So he's down to five. It's the five, friends. Yeah. Uh, but they've secured this side, so that's a nice uh -huh. little bonus. So I don't actually think I need to do anything with him, so he's activation is done. Unless, do you have, like... Guy's not in your end zone. No, I don't have anyone uh, invisible on this okay. side here. All right. A guy like looks at looks at the side of his gun. There's like a the over the the uh, overpower switch is just like what smells like bacon. <laughs> Actually, can I take it's like that what does the back? switch do? Yeah, yeah. Even yeah, thank you. It's gonna leave him there anyway. Sure. Just could I? I mean, I don't. Um, I don't know if it changes anything. But if you scoot him here, I don't get my central control. Oh, that's Victory a good point. point. It's up to you. No, my, my, I'm just thinking about potential future overwatches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Hello. Oh, right. So I guess you would get a shot coming up here. Mm-hmm. Regardless, I still need to make this guy do something. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Extra defense, psychic power, guard. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> if I can be so bold. <laughs> yeah, armed resilience uh, for the turning point, guard. Okay. And you know what? Maybe even just put him or you, you... even behind the... Ooh, that makes sense. I can't charge you. Yep. So That's him. Okay. Um... I will move out. One. Oh no. Two. Oh no. Hi. It's bang bang o'clock. Bang bang o'clock. <laughs> bang me. Ah. Uh, all right. Bang uh, me. Wait Ian. A minute. Which one is that guy? He was the one with no shield. JQ. I haven't done much with you. Four and three's up. Uh. Ooh. That's a happy roll. I'm just gonna leave. Actually, you know what? I'm going to relentlessly roll one of these, just for extra value. That was a five. Mm -hmm. Okay, same thing, but uh, we're looking at three hits and an crit. Gross. Uh, I saved the crit. Okay, so that's looking at uh, nine damage. Oh, mama. All right. Must secure this. Nine dice. Yeah, Whoa! four saves. Uh, I was... saw you reaching for that one too. Yeah, I was like, like mm. uh, so that is four saves. So I'm going to take five. Uh, he goes down to seven. Nice. Okay. Um, I guess I take an Overwatch action then. Oh no, uh, still got no, some I'm still going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to dash. Yep. But I can't get in with engage. I can do this. Uh, and I think because I am within, it's like one triangle of the thing that you're mm -hmm. taking cover behind. I don't think you get cover. I think you're I think you're right. I just want to be sure about what how that works. Operative is within triangle of terrain other than line of sight. The operators are not within. So if, if we weren't within a circle of each other, mm -hmm. I would have cover. But because we are close we're within a circle, I no longer have cover. Okay. Uh, I'm going to point blank shoot you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Uh, so, yeah, regular regular bolter. Uh, it is a crit and in and two hits. Okay, and you are within you are within a circle of me and you are the stinky boy still? Uh, right, I am the stinky boy still. Okay. Yeah. So that means I'm going to be I totally uh, forgot I had contagion going. I just needed it for that, but this actually works out nice. So I'm going to be using three die to defend, but they will be four up, too. No defense. Okay, uh, so that'll be, I believe, uh, seven, ten, I want to say. Ten yeah, damage? Ten damage. He is down to one. Down to one. Not zero, but not zero. definitely not a lot. All right, uh, that's him. Or would you like okay. to take your Overwatch action? I, I, I think I would like to shoot this man with this man. Come on, fighter. I believe. Oh, this is going to be. So this is uh, four up on six dice for you? Uh, six dice. Because yep, you're because injured, injured Overwatch. And over... where's that guy's death counter? I don't know. He had been shot before, right? He's been, I, I'm pretty sure. Wasn't it like in this corner? Yeah. Maybe I got rid of it by accident. Oh, maybe. Well, let's, I mean. Twitch Dad, do you remember what he was at? I want to say it was like five. Yeah, and that would make him definitely uh, low enough. You know, let's let's treat it as five. And sure. then are you within the circle? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not in cover at all. No, no, I mean, just in terms of the stank. Oh, uh, nope. Okay, good. No, so good. it's only the one. It's only in the one. In terms of good. my stank. Yeah, I think it was five. I, I, I yeah. believe that. So we're looking at six with a three up then. Four up. Because it's an Overwatch shot, and you're right. Thank injured. you. It's the Overwatch. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The injured, the injured still matters, be, not because I'm stinky, but because you're bleeding out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just worried the stank also had on gotcha. top of that. Yeah. Oh, it was looking so good. We've still got three shots coming through. Okay, I got a crit. So I got a crit. Yeah. And two hits. Okay, so I stopped the crit. Yep. Two hits, which means four damage is coming in. Yep. 
So I need to save t on two of these dice. It was on six last I checked. I mean, I'd believe it too. Okay, there well, you go. If six. it was on six, but then... it was definitely injured, and your guys are eleven. Yeah. So, so... I want to. He was definitely injured. Yeah. I, I recall that much. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. So you can't. We'll say yeah, five. Seven, five. We'll give you the most for injured. Okay, two dice. I don't have any victory or command points, right? No. So this is out of four. You have to get two fives or sixes. Yeah. All right. Yes! Oh, man! Papa Nurgle! The gods mm. are not on my side today. Hooey! <laughs> All right, I go to Juan. Oh, my God. All right. And you can't take more than one Overwatch action per... Per, per unit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so my last uh, act... Oh, I got two, right? Is... Yeah, you got two guys here, and then you got that guy over there. Yeah. So uh, so that guy's gone, but this guy, he's just going to activate the thing as his only thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and Take then the I'll yep. move on to... Oh, this guy can... Yeah, I'm going to have him do a, uh, a shot on the guy in front of us there. You got it. Okay. Uh, looking at four, four and four Ooh, up. Can I... Yeah, please. Anything. Let's actually... I mean, okay, so I kind of forgot that this guy was still going to be able to do that. So... Oh, but it does take me... No, you know what? Same thing. Okay. Yeah. Take a shot at me. Taking the shot. So it'd be five ups for you? Yep. Uh, no, four, four ups because, oh yeah, no, he's injured. You're Overwatched right. Overwatched injured? Yep, Overwatched. So we're looking at uh, a hit and, and crit. Uh, same here. Okay. That a balances. Uh, okay. And then this man's will go one, two, and activate. Buckle that shoe. Okay, uh, that is the end of turning point three. Mm -hmm. uh, tack ops. Uh, I th I, we evening ourselves out on the center. I we? think I get all three of mine. Um, I think you might. Well, actually, hold on. Where's the? Where's my? God, how do I lose my pistol stick every time? Where do I even put it? In between two. That seems good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to say you are definitely within distance of my... Oh, yeah, of your... Uh... Yeah. Okay. So, hold the line's gone, but I think I've got central control. Um, I don't know. Is it within... Are you... It's within square. And... No. Yeah, yeah. You're, that's not within. Um, and I don't think you killed any of my guys this turn. I did not kill any of your guys this turn, no. So I think that's two for me. Yep. And... Any of yours? Uh, no, nothing pops for me. Okay. All right. Uh, turning point four. The final turning point. Yep. Um, okay. Each of us get a command point. Mm-hmm. And, uh, right. I guess we roll for initiative. I guess we do, yeah. Six. <laughs> Fighter. <laughs> You've been rolling very well tonight, to be honest. That I my one. <laughs> <laughs> Not always. Not always. Yeah. Oh, fighter, you did really good. I'm actually really impressed by you. Um, okay. Uh, any no no target reveals. Uh, any uh, point dealios you want to use? Uh, I mean, let's see here. I don't. I mean, I'm going to use one, obviously, but. Uh, yeah, let's bolter discipline again. Okay, I'm not going to use anything here. Say so it's one yours. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, I'll flippy dippy all these. Yeah, I'll get yours over here. Thank you. I think this is going to be pretty quick. TBH. Yeah, well, I mean, either way, this will be the last turning point. This kind of has to I, be. Four is just such a good number, honestly, for this. It makes sure the games aren't too long. Uh, okay. Yep, I mean. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I can't do much for them. Um, let's. If I do the shooty. Kill, move, victory point? Yeah. Yeah, there's no way I can do more than two victory po or more than one victory point in there today. Yeah. I can move and get victory point. I think, well, I th so I think if you kill me, that denies me one, you move to the one that's in behind me. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, oh, if you can, I guess you're only four. Oh, I can absolutely get there. Um, but it's uh, yeah, I, right. I, and then you activate that, and that's going to be two victory points because you'll have six, uh, center control too. Oh, good point. So, well, I mean, let's let's. We'll see how it goes. Yep, we'll, we'll roll it out. All right, so six shots at three ups. Mm -hmm. Come on, fighter. You did so good. You got one HP, and I believe. Eight, one HP in a dream. Uh, we are looking at two. No more. Four, That's... five, six. Oh. Six. Yeah. <laughs> six up, yes. Mm, I saved two of them. OK. So that's four, eight. Yep. All right. Roll those nergs. <laughs> you know what? You've done so good for me. I'm, I'm okay if it ends here. <laughs> You've had a good run, lad. Nope. Oh, oh my god! I was so close! I cannot believe that! <laughs> Holy moly! Um, One, two, three, four. Command reroll. Sure, sure. <sighs> you want to clear the tray first? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man! I mean, as we all know, command reroll never ever it works. It never works. Honestly, probably not the smartest thing too, because I know you had a second shot coming. Uh, no, not on this guy. Right? Oh man! Oh, missed it by <sighs> solid attempt. Anyway, we're gonna I, get, yeah. move in and dingle the dingle. Yep. Yeah. Right, so yeah, you get a victory solid. point. Oh, had to try. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, last thing then is I'm going to charge. I'm I, I'm just right up on you. Right in there. Uh, and uh, let's do a fight. Okay. Uh, so we're looking at uh, no axe. I have knives. Okay. Taste my knife. Slender has. Uh, oh shoot! I totally right. It's only crits. Well, that's fine. I don't know if it actually mattered this game. Slender over there has the Nemesis Warding Stave. Right, I forgot. These guys have scary weapons. Yes. It's okay. I just need N hit. So, 3-3. Three, three. And 5 with 3s up. Oh, wait. He's injured. So, 5 with 4s up. I got 2 hits. Uh, let's command reroll. No way. I have, uh, no, I have, have nothing for that. Left. Then, nothing. Uh, is stopped and everything gets through. All right. Well, I stab you in the in the I don't know <laughs> the gut. I, I mean, theoretically, you would have like as long as you got one hit, there's nothing he can do to stop. Yeah. So he has. Does that have stun? It does have stun. Yeah. So there was like a way that like if he got a crit, he could have yeah. knocked. If if I only had like one dice or something to go through, he that, could knock that so dice away. That stun. happens before the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Stun on a on a uh, fight is first crit discards one normal hit from the enemy. Yeah. Second crit, subtract one from the APL of the target. Yep. All right. Uh, so that guy is dead. Yep. Uh, and that will be all I do there. Okay. Um, oh, I was like, who the f <laughs> where did that <laughs> guy come ass? from? <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, he's got no more Overwatch shots and stuff, so he'll do an activation here. That guy will do an activation there. Yep. Um, and then we go to the grand finale. Wait, wait, wait. I, can't, I can't Overwatch an activation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. No, I guess we're going. Yeah, we uh, we go through two. Well, I guess you wouldn't be able to because you already activated. It's only one right. and two. Even if even if this made up rule worked. <laughs> uh, so I don't get hold the line because I I'd say you're actually within the correct distance. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't get center control Sorry. and I don't get damage limitations. I don't. I, I'm I'm at eight. Yep. I get the one for central control. Yep. And. Uh, I did have one guy die. Yeah. Uh, so don't get damage limitation, and I don't get security because I didn't kill two people next to an action point. All right. Well, there it is. <laughs> that was. So it ends up to five points, I guess. But yeah. Uh, no, I already put the yeah, one for the center. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, eight to four. The Death Knights or the Death Guard take it. Oof. That was a really close that one. That was a good game. It was just a f like 
I can see why, like, okay, so I put zero stock in tier lists. Mm -hmm. I think they're all dumb. Um, but one of the main things uh, talked about with Death Guard is they are a, they're, they're put in the B tier. Mm -hmm. But they're like, if you roll well for Disgustingly Resilient, they are an A team. Oh, yeah. And I think we, I, I, I got real, I can't believe I almost no There were no so that. many times when I should, if it weren't for your, uh, for your resilience, that I would have just wiped a unit off the map. Yeah. And that would have made a completely different game. Yeah, yeah. It makes 12 wounds look a lot like 18 Oh, wounds. God, yeah. It's unreal. And, like, I, I, I mean, I, it's tough because this, I don't think you really got a chance to show it off. Um, but boy, I feel like if I would have gotten into if you if you guys were able to get into like melee range mm -hmm. right up on me and stuff, uh, you would have torn me to shreds. Mm -hmm. See, and that was part of my uh, I did a test match with Corey last night right. against her Harlequins. Yeah. And yeah, I was I was scared of getting too close to things because the Harlequins will just tear you to pieces if you get too close. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that might have been a fight. It might have had a fighting chance against your dudes. My here. guys are like fine in melee. Yeah. They're like your average Marines, except for the guy carrying the giant axe. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, that was, yeah, this was, this was a really, this might have been my favorite game I think of Guild Team I played. It was very cool. Close. I like that, that the guy inside, like the guy in the, uh, uh, in the airlock doesn't even know that, like, <laughs> he's like, yay, we won! Yeah, we cleared the airlock! <laughs> I, I had enough fun with this team that I think I'm absolutely going to, uh, pick up a... GW set of uh, Grey Knights and paint them up proper. Nice, for yeah. For further play. They're cool models, and I mean, what I what I really did enjoy about this, not that like we're sponsored or anything, but this was this was a, a Chaos Gate, the recent game that came out. It's <laughs> you play as Grey Knights fighting uh, a Death Guard, <laughs> which is there's so. I mean, if you like that dynamic, it's it's a solid game. I liked it a lot. It. Um, but that is going to be it for us tonight. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning on yes. in. This is my honestly. One of my favorite times that are within a month. <laughs> uh, and if you enjoyed it and you want to support us, you can check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Uh, you're the reason we're able to do all this cool stuff. And we really, really appreciate mm -hmm. you, uh, you paying them bills. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, if you, uh, you know, also want to support us in other monetary ways, you can check out our store at store.loadingreadyrun.com where we have all kinds of really, really cool products and stuff. Uh, just a whole bunch of, I mean, maybe you haven't bought, you forgot to buy one of your family members a Christmas mm -hmm. gift. There's some pretty cool Loading Ready One ones, and you hand it to them, and they go, who is this? And you say, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, and if you're watching this on the YouTube, thank you so much for checking out the whole video. We really, really appreciate it. Be sure to dingle the bingle, do all those engagements, and what did we ask for them to say below? We didn't. Um, what's your favorite cut of jeans? Are there? They get boot cut, straight cut, or Oh fit? God! I was like, is there more than one kind of jean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me. I, I I tend to prefer what I've got here: a, a slender denim jean. <laughs> it's my preferred. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, well, from all of us here, uh, me, Ben, and e, it's Ian, your boy, and Paul, of course, on tech. Uh, we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. <laughs>